journalist is evolving to be like a one-man band. It used to be that if you were a journalist, a photographer tags along with you. The text journalist should also be able to take pictures, nice ones, compelling ones, good ones. At the same time, the photojournalist should also be able to, to write stories in a textual manner. So there's still a lot of crossover and um, there's still a lot to learn for that ma- matter because there's still a lot of demand now on the skills of a journalist given all the technologies that are available to, to them. The expectations are very high and uh, competition is also uh, quite stiff and, and technology keeps on, keeps on changing. Our mandate is to be able to help journalists in, in that sense also move with the times and the move with the technology they are confronted with in the workplace. We want the center to be a place where they can uh, get updated, where they can retool and at the same time meet other uh, meet fellow journalists and discuss with them the challenges that they meet in their workplace, you know, exchange notes and then build networks and so on. Because the idea is that they should be able to write not only about issues in their own countries, but also issues which cross borders, you know, so issues, issues like HIV AIDS, um, migrant workers, uh, climate change and so on. These are issues which are not uh, localized, right? But they, these are issues which confront all of us as as Asian citizens, or for that matter, as citizens of the world. Press Freedom 2.0 um, is a social development program focused on, focused on the press. First, helping media institutions build their capacity. And then secondly, to, um, to build the capacity of journalists themselves. Being part of the partnership, we're able to develop the multimedia journalism program. And then uh, what's even more valuable, I think, is that it puts us on the ground because we're from the academy, so we train, right? So some people might say it's, it is the ivory tower. But this project gives us the chance to work with, with NGOs, to work with photographers on the field, because the way it is, they come to us and we train them, we educate them. But with this, we're able to be with them in the field, follow their work. And so we become, I, I would say, maybe more realistic with our goals. And we're learning a lot from, from it. It's, it's really valuable. And uh, with, with the reputation, with the prestige of the World Press Photo, and it kind of suddenly gave us also this, this capability to made us grow very quickly in that, in that field. When you partner with someone who's very much experienced and who has all the networks, then you kind of um, pulled up very, very, very quickly. So I think that's what happened, what happened with us. So we had that credibility. We were able to grow you know, in, that, in the field of visual journalism. We should be able to create those multimedia stories and get a mainstream media outlet. So we're looking at one of the biggest broadcast institutions in the country. And then secondly, getting that distributed through, um, through a mainstream media organization. We have several who appear to be interested. And then I guess it's far as we can talk about our ambition at the moment because it's already big to my, uh, to my thinking. <laughs>